In this old-fashioned western showdown, we'll review the differences between Lantis and Tejeo. Despite their misleading names and varying ages, both Lantis and Tejeo solo star pens actually contain the same insulin molecule inside, insulin glargine. As a quick review, insulin glargine was introduced commercially as Lantis in the year 2000. Lantis was the first long-acting basal, or background insulin. In order to better understand the major differences between Lantis and Tejeo, you must first know that for decades, insulin was traditionally delivered at a U100 concentration. U is short for units. The 100 means there are 100 units of insulin in one milliliter. Lantis is glargine insulin at the original U100 concentration. Approved by the FDA in February of 2015, Tejeo is also insulin glargine but at a higher concentration of U300. At the molecular level, Tejeo is not actually stronger than Lantus. A three times higher concentration means that the same amount of liquid contains three times the amount of insulin. Since Tejeo is more concentrated, the amount or volume injected must be three times less than that of Lantus to achieve the same effect. By increasing the concentration of glargine, its absorption is prolonged, allowing Tejeo to last a little longer under the skin. The half-life of Tejeo is 19 hours, and it lasts for a little more than 24 hours in the body. Tejeo's higher concentration also means that it needs more time to build up in your system. It takes at least five days for it to reach a steady level in the blood. If you are changing insulins from Lantis to Tejeo, keep your gun in its holster and relax. There's no need to do any fancy calculations while using the Tejeo Solo Star Pen. It was designed to take into account the higher concentration and does the math by giving smaller volumes per click. Lantis is converted to Tejeo on a one-to-one -one basis, meaning if you're on 22 units of Lantis, your dose of Tejeo will be 22 units to start. You might start at the same dose, but studies show that over time, you're likely to need 10-15% to more Tejeo to achieve the same fasted blood sugar control as compared to Lantus. In a series of studies called Addition, researchers found that the hemoglobin A1c drop on Tejeo is similar to its less concentrated relative. While the three-month average blood sugar drop might be similar, some studies suggest up to a 45% reduction in the amount of hypoglycemia that occurs in those on Tejeo. Now hold on to your hats. The insulin inside these pens might be the same, but there are some more physical differences between their delivery devices. The Tejeo Solo Star pen contains 450 units, and the newer Tejeo Max Solo Star holds 900 units of insulin. Lantis has 300 units in a single pen. Is there a winner in this old-fashioned gunslinging matchup? As compared to Lantis, Tejeo's higher concentration prolongs its absorption and leads to a decrease in the amount of hypoglycemia. However, using Tejeo imparts no additional A1C benefit beyond what is seen with its older twin. While there is a similar per unit cost between these two pens, dose in Tejeo requires a 10 to 15% increase to get the same fast and sugar control. Because of its improved length of action with decrease in hypoglycemia risk and no associated increase in per unit cost, Tejeo is the last pen standing.